but you know it's a lie. Deep down inside, you are hoping and praying that, yeah, Maravel, I could get to that level. Whereas the people that you are watching are not even at that level. How do you feel about that? Don't you think that messes with anyone's mental health? Because then start going out to do the wrong things, to try to achieve these things. Yet those people can't even achieve those things. Why would you say that? Why? Why would you say that, bro? Do you know that I lost the campaign because of what you were saying about me? You? What campaign? I was working with the campaign, and now I have to literally... What? Yeah, but what campaign was it? What was it for? I no, can't say saying, that. Saying, I can't yes, say so that. She can't say. So, take so what did you have to do with, with body and like body no, 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 and stuff? No, no, it, no, no. It just had to do with the fact that there was like a whole altercation that was happening uh, on, on social media and whatever. Like this whole thing of you like bashing me and it going like so viral. You understand? Yeah. So I lost the campaign because of that. And when you say that you don't intend on like hurting people and whatever, ruining their brands, you really care about people's brands. I'm just letting you know that, do you know that that happened with me? And now I have to like pay these people every single month. And Oh, okay. Okay. Let me, let me put it this way. Okay. Right? I would never complain about having to pay a brand back. If my man gave me a million plus rands, I'll just pay the brand. Boo. <laughs> Give you a million rand. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know whatever you're going to do today, but this is all for you. You, you can jump in Yana on the bed in Yana or, so, or something. I think like, I can't miss it. I'm so pretty. Ha! Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Baby. So ask his congratulations. <laughs> okay, did Kanye really give you a million or was it another prank? Tell us the truth or take shots. Um, I think by now guys we all know we're allowed. That's okay, did he give you a hundred? I'm wrapping it, but I'm 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 unwrapping my boys. <laughs> I'm not a cow, bitch. Listen, I'm gonna make you sweat, make you wet, make you wet, wet, wet. I'm gonna make you sweat, baby, baby, kissing in the chest of pressure. Vault unlocked. Hello, what is up, you dazzling diamonds and the others? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Kyle. And this is the vault. Anyway, you guys, let's jump straight into this video. 
Alrighty then you guys if you guys haven't already please do like share and subscribe to this channel and if you guys do enjoy my videos please do click on the thank you button right and in this video you guys we are going to be talking about ghost luby and sima and their antics so i guess this is the follow-up video that i was speaking about right i think that a lot of people are idiotic they're sheep some are stupid some are just ignorant type of situation when it comes to the ghost luby and sima situation Last week, I had a lot of people come for me when I said that Sima was childish, I was called names. People were very, very upset. The fact of the matter is, she is very childish. And you might want to say, but she's a child, she's in her 20s. Come on, guys, you need to stop doing this. You really need to stop doing this. When we call something out, and it is the truth, that you're like, oh, you're jealous. You're Not everybody's jealous. As a matter of fact, Take a look at it closely. The people that speak about the people that you guys love are most times not the ones that are jealous of these people. It's the ones that are lurking in the comment sections of the dark valleys and alleys and caves. Those are the ones that are jealous. Watching you with hate. Tina, let's speak about the people that you guys love. We don't hate them. We're just doing our commentary type of situation. It is what it is. And also, in hopes that we can help people to see the light. Because some of you, like I said, are idiotic sheeps. Not everyone. But some are. And I say this with my chest because... How is it that you know that a prank or something... These videos are fake of these cars. I gave my, my girlfriend a million um, rand, whatever, whatever. You know that it's fake. But... It still entertains you. I don't know where you people come from. Or what you're doing. It's not entertaining to me. And I can't be the only one. Time and time again. A person puts out fake content. And you just slurp it up like noodles. Lasagna. It gives them the leeway to keep on doing stupid content. It's stupid content because you know it's a lie. It is so stupid. And it's detrimental to the other people that are watching and being influenced by these people that think that tomorrow I can wake up and uh, start a YouTube channel or a TikTok and go and buy a Ferrari or give my girl a, a million rand. It's a lie. We all know it. And yet you still encourage it. You know why you still encourage it? It's because some of you are dead asleep. Really, you are. How is it that a person like Usima can complain about losing brand deals and having to pay brands back on a monthly basis or a weekly basis? 5,000 rand, I think she said, until they worked it out to a different number. Why are you complaining if your man just gave you millions of rands and can buy Ferraris? Why would you complain? You can just pay that money. It goes to tell you that their content is fake. Why are people so stupid? And dead asleep in their minds that they are entertained by by fake that lies. And then when you call the truth out, that is on mainstream media and stuff like that, they say that that is fake, but they're entertained by the fake lies. I don't get it. I'm not saying cancel these people. I'm just saying it's detrimental to your mental health for you to follow like a sheep. When people lie to you like this, because some of you, even when you know that it's a lie, you still cling on to the hope that it could be true. And I know this is a fact. I'm saying this because it's a fact. Same situation happened with Dr. Matthew, the doctor who wasn't a doctor. Even when we knew the truth of the situation, people were still clinging on to some hope that maybe he is a doctor, but the truth was right there. And it grew and it grew and it grew and it grew to a dangerous point when he jumped out of the, that window and cracked his tooth. Thank the good Lord, that's the, that's the only harm that he faced. But it could have been bad. But these are the lessons that you learn along the way when it comes to social media. And yet when you have characters like Usim and Nikos Lubi, you just tend to put your blinders on and you're okay with the bullshit. They're selling you a dream. 
There was a time when people came out to speak about the, the sneakers that they were promoting, how fake they are. People weren't really outraged. But there's some influences that you will be outraged when they don't deliver on these products, when they don't deliver on the brands that they are representing. And then also the brands are at fault for putting these people up on a pedestal. Because the brands will cancel someone or take a contract away from someone if there's some kind of controversy about them. And in some instances, that influencer doesn't cause the, 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 the controversy. Maybe they were spoken about or mentioned in that controversy. And that deal will be taken away from them. But yet people like Ghost Luby, when everybody knows, adults know, that they are lying. They maintain their status. In the industry, they maintain their brands and so on and so forth. What is going on over here? Oh, Banda. What is actually going on over here? This is, you see, everybody is confused. Everything is tipsy toesy. People are sick, in my opinion. People are really, really sick. How do you find enjoyment <laughs> in knowing that something is fake? The girlfriend, Usima came out to say how fake everything was when they broke up. She was so pissed off doing those lives. When they got back together, and I was hoping that they wouldn't, I was hoping that she was going to just thrive and survive by herself because I really think that she is so much better than that. She even thought that she was better than that when she was saying that she's tired of having a camera in her face and she's tired of the fake pranks. She thought that she was better than Ghost Louie. She really did. You can say what you want to say, but that's the mindset that Usima was in. Now that they're back together, the lies are still continuing to the public. Sneening, they'll break up again, and then it will happen that they expose each other, or rather, Simo will expose him. And then it begs the question, did they really ever break up, or was it part of their social media gimmick? Because look at how Ghost Ruby was going from girl to girl, and all those dramas, and then quickly they back together again. Did they really break up or not? Or was that their biggest lie? And they're going to continue to do it and cash in on it. Let them cash in, it's fine. Because you guys support nonsense. You entertain by lies. You know what, now? It's a consumerism, consumerism, consumerism. You don't even care that the sneakers you were buying were fake. They don't even care that they were selling you fake things. There was a situation where Sima was involved with phones and people. She had to pay their money back. It just blew over like nothing ever happened. But they are duping you. Do you see how dangerous these situations can go? On YouTube and other platforms like that, social media, it's okay because you're not giving out physical money. But people are still going to be duped by these people. It's going to happen. And it's because everybody is encouraging their nonsense. It's fake. It's not like putting out a movie, a fictional movie. That is just entertainment. No. Because they don't actually, like, oh, goes through here in this instance. Doesn't come out to say it's fake, it's fake, it's fake. But even if he did, what is so entertaining if you've seen this, this same thing play out from other creators over and over again? You see a prank once, you see it ten times, now it's enough. You know what's going to happen. Or content that has been done over and over again. And that's why Seema's popular on TikTok. Because she does the lip-syncing things, things that have already been done. Where's the originality in that? People might say, oh, Lynn, but you have to talk about them to be relevant. But aren't they doing the same thing on a different scale? Lip syncing? Is it them? Is it them? We only get to see a snippet of their personalities, like Usima on her podcast, or when she's drunk and unhinged, or when she's being rude to people. That's her real personality, not the one that is acting on TikTok. That's the character that you fell in love with, and it's fake. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you get and they're going to dupe you to vote for political parties, to buy brands that are shitty. They don't care as long as they get the money at the end of the day. And why would anyone complain like Sima did to Tahi that you cost me a brand deal? Now I have to pay every single month. Your guy gave you three or two what a million rand. You could pay it in one go, couldn't you? You're duping the youth. You're duping these people. It's tough here. Yeah, yeah, South Africa, it's tough. It's not like that. It's not what they portray. And it's messing with people's mental health. I promise you this. 
you might call me hateful and say all these things. That's a fact. Because you think that you're going to start a YouTube channel or a TikTok and then you're just going to blow up. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of hard work. And they're not even making the money that they claim to be making. They might be making enough to be comfortable. But the things that they are flashing, and it always comes out. Banamanga. Those cars that they buy, you will still find them at that same dealership next week. Even the dealerships and the, the, the brands that they work with are wrong for that. They just want you to come and buy. And they use the influencers. They just want you to come and buy, buy, buy. That time, you have an onion in your fridge. And that's why we have so many people roaming around with original Gucci's, Louis, and all these things. But they actually can't afford them. They have an onion and water in their fridge. And the water is in a 2 liter Coke bottle. They can't even afford to buy a proper water bottle for their fridge. And their microwaves are dirty. Their microwaves are dirty. I don't even want to talk about what the bathroom is looking like. But you are dripping in Gucci because you are influenced by these people who are also wearing fake. <laughs> but better be fake as they've been exposed for that. <laughs> and yet you worship them. You know when an upload is coming. They're going to sell it. And you're going to watch it because, oh, you're so bored with your life and it's so entertaining. But you know it's a lie. Deep down inside, you are hoping and praying that, yeah, Maravella, I could get to that level. Whereas the people that you are watching are not even at that level. How do you feel about that? Don't you think that messes with anyone's mental health? Because people will then start going out to do the wrong things to try to achieve these things. Yet those people can't even achieve those things. I would never complain about having to pay a brand back. If my man gave me a million plus rands, I'll just pay the brand. I would never complain to Tahi after he spoke the truth. You cost me my brand, my brand, my brand. If I had the money for it. They're living lavishly and at the same time, it's, they are telling you in your faces, what we're doing is fake. But the real life people, you that is living in the real world, you're going to go and try to get those things and live that life in the wrong way. And it's going to be detrimental to you. And guess what? You have nobody else to blame but yourself. Because you decided to say, oh, Linda Kyle is hateful. You didn't listen to what I was saying to you. Stop being an idiot. You didn't listen again. Now you're mad that you're in trouble. Because you wanted to wake, you wanted to watch and partially believe in the fake and in the fake content and encourage it it's just entertainment it's not it's not stop saying that it's not just entertainment social media works on your mind it works on your brain it's like a drug and you need to choose pick and choose what you feed your mind you need to keep yourself safe and your mental health because I bet you this, even those people, they're not happy. Not 110%. Especially with the, the hate that they get on the internet. They cry on some of their lives. It's deep. It's very, very deep. And obviously, they have to put out all the stops and create these elaborate lies. Because why? They have to get paid at the end of the month from YouTube. They need the views. And that's all, that's all good and dandy. But damn, I am waiting for the day. When they can actually be themselves and put out something that is authentic. Imagine Seema doing content that is authentically her. Not the lip syncing stuff or the jabs. That would be so interesting. But would she be the Seema that she is now? No. Would Ghost Louie be the Ghost Louie that he is now? No. None of them can actually go back. Like I was saying in the other video about Untado. You have to be a clown. To make it on these um, internet streets. Some of us refuse to be clowns. I will be authentically me. And it will take time for me to get to where I'm going. But rather be myself. Tell the truth and be authentic. I am not in this game to be a clown. They are clowns. And this clown um, industry. It's a failure. It always ends badly for clowns. It's like a one hit wonder. It always ends badly for the clowns. This or no type of situation. Right? Don't be an idiot or a sheep and be influenced. 
there's a lot of content creators out there that you don't even know of that are authentic and you can see their growth you can see where they're at from the content that they produce they don't have to lie about what they have or who they are to make the numbers they're just themselves like the rest of us but you guys you say that the fake people are the authentic ones and the authentic ones are the fake ones what is wrong with you this world is funny it's funny to go upside down something funny and freaky is going on what is happening why are people wow you're not even gullible at this point it's just it's a choice i don't know if it motivates you or encourages you in any way to be wow yeah because you know the truth <laughs> but then again dr matthew situation ninja really i can't expect anything different i can hope that things can change but yeah we're gonna see in the comment section now okay all right so good right and if you guys haven't already please do like share and subscribe to this channel and baby baby i'll see you in the next one bye and take care of yourself